Building is one of the most important parts of PAL World and so gathering materials is also a big part of the game. I'm showing you how to get every material like ore, leather, palladium, ingots, quartz, organs and more in order to build and use everything in the base build menu, including workbenches, incubators, furnaces, breeding pens, furniture, ammo, weapons, armors, gliders and everything else you can think of in the base. All you need is these 20 materials and you're good to go and I'll show you the best spot to farm each. Let's take a look. First is stone, wood and fibre and I'm not going to show you where to farm those because they're of course found all across the game by chopping trees and mining just regular stone. Palladium fragments are used as a common material in many of the builds in the build menu and there are three different ways you can find it. One is to find these tiny ores and mine them. They are always found next to water or at the very start of the game, there's lots of them there. Second, the easiest way to get lots of palladium fragments is to build the mill in the build menu. All you need is stone and wood to build, and your easiest bet is to probably build also a mine so you can get lots of stone very quickly, and then you simply put it into the mill with any water pal, and it can convert it into lots and lots of palladium. If you don't want to do that and you're looking for lots of palladium to mine on your own, the best location is to farm the bigger ores which are found inside the caves of snowy regions. The caves of course move around every couple of hours so you need to memorize the entrances. Next we have ore which you can use for ingots and coal which is used for carbon fiber, refined ingots and charcoal. Ore is common to find and coal is usually found in the desert, but there is one location on the map that has both in lots of quantity. Here on the map there are 5 coal and 8 ore nodes and it's plenty for what you need. The best bet is to level up your base until you can build a second one and then place your second base here. Then you'll be able to mine all the ore and fast travel back to your main base with all your stuff. Pure quartz is needed for circuit boards which are required for any of the higher level workbenches and furnaces. Quartz is usually found in snowy locations and it's hard to come by in great quantity, but my favourite spot is right here next to the second tower where you can find 6 quartz ore deposits all next to each other. Flame organs, ice organs, electric organs, venom glands, pal fluids, wool, leather and bone. These are all materials needed to craft a whole bunch of things in the build menu. Unfortunately, they are dropped from common to find pals. And if you're looking for one specific spot and this area here of the map, you can find Pen Gullet, Thwack, Fox Park, Sparket, Vixie, Lamol and Depresso, which will drop all of the items I mentioned. Plus there are a bunch of other pals going around here as well, which will drop other stuff or more of the same of the things I mentioned. And of course, being low level, all of these pals are very easy to farm. The one animal part that we didn't mention though was high quality pal oil. This is best found by farming Relaxosaurus in this part of the map. They drop loads of them when you kill them and you can farm other things like woolly pops but these guys give you the most for one of the lower level pals and they shouldn't be too tough to kill lots of them. Ancient civilization parts are found by killing bosses, catching rare shiny pals or from opening chests. Chests and bosses respawn and rare pals always appear and so you should have no problem finding this material. To get seeds easy, simply kill grass type pals. If you head to the Cinemoth forest, a bunch of grass type pals will spawn here, like Bristla and of course Cinemoth, who will both drop wheat and lettuce seeds. Masanda will drop tomato seeds and so on. Beautiful flowers are really only needed to craft the flower bed in the build menu, but they are found from killing with bunnies, or you can find them on any of the wildlife sanctuaries. Gunpowder is a very useful material to craft all ammo. It's tough to get in quantity though, and your best bet is to farm groups of Taco Taco that are found in the desert. And while you can find Taco Taco in a lot of other places on the map, this is the only place they will spawn reliably. Now if you want to craft gunpowder, you'll need a lot of sulphur, and the best location is to farm the sulphur deposits which are right next to the Eternal Pyre Tower, where there is a nice fast travel you can get to easily. Lastly then we have cake, and I know it's not needed for building, but it's something every player needs to make in bulk at some point, and so to make it you'll need wheat, which we already covered, 
eggs found from cheeky pies located at the very start of the game, milk from Mott's Arena. You can kill these pals for their ingredients, or of course you can farm any of them by putting them in the farm in your base. Honey you can get from bee guards. Lastly then, don't forget many of these items you can also purchase from the Wandering Merchants. Well that is how to get every material and item needed to build every single item in your build menu, at your base, and the best place to farm them early. If this guide was helpful guys, leave a comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.